Wonderful. So today, today, some idea? I think uh, Madhuri is not coming for bhajans. I was writing. So idea is uh, always spontaneous to share. And I think uh, we all would like to listen from you because we have not had your uh, sharings in any in then, any class so please share something from from uh, you i have one i have one uh, uh theme i like to subject subject i like to share with you and like to <coughs> ask you what do you think about this okay what when i came back from Vrindavan, hmm. we had we had a discussion in Vrindavan uh why uh bhakti siddhanta uh, changed some mood of the Babaji's because his uh, guru was Babaji, no? Gora Kishore Das Babaji. And uh, of course, in this line, uh, th there is for sure um, a, a special bath. Uh, uh, for example, Manjari bath. What we think that he got from his uh, guru, right? And but um, he don't uh, uh, expand it to his uh, uh, teaching in the West, uh, and also Prabhupada not openly give it to his disciples. And then that was a meditation that goes for days. And, and why why uh, should he do this? <laughs> and then when I was sitting in the airplane and it came to me that I was meditating upon the time when Bhakti Siddhanta lived in, in India. And um, that was a time of occupation by the British, right? Yes. And the, they uh, they tried to destroy the, the Indian philosophy and uh, the medicine system of India, uh, the whole culture that they tried to destroy and uh, put their, the Western culture up this and the universities everywhere, right? Yes. This was the colonialism time. So that was also the time when uh, when Mahatma Gandhi was trying to get independence for India. And I suddenly I could understand for myself that uh, Bhakti Siddhanta understood the, the, this problem that the Vedic philosophy will uh, go down by when, when he, he do not something against this system and so he got the idea to bring this knowledge especially the knowledge in the west so that the vedic knowledge is not only in in india but also in the west so like this western um colonialists they brought their own philosophy to india by uh, by force. So and he gave the uh, the order to uh, Bhakti Siddha, uh, Bhakti Vedanta Swami especially, ne, to uh, translate the Vedic scriptures to the people in the West and bring this knowledge to the West. And so they. They did it, and they do this translation and brought the knowledge in the West. But we can now understand they, because of the not qualified people like the British uh, government at this time, they was not qualified for higher education or uh, for that what we say for different kinds of bath, for the personal relationship to our Swamini. Mm. So they were so proud. They, at that time, they thought that they are the better people in the world, right? 
And of course, of this, they brought only the knowledge to the West. And now, after that meditation, it comes crystal clear why Prabhupada not uh, give initiation in these higher levels. Because also his disciples, that was not British colonialists, but the hippies. The qualification of the hippies was even not that uh, you can uh, uh, give this high. Uh, uh, was heißt Einweihung? Initiation. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I think now it's easier to understand that they are in fact very merciful to all of us. But this is not the end of, of everything what they brought. They only give the knowledge but the higher level we will only get in India by special mercy. And we have to qualify ourselves inside to not be proud like the British and not be crazy like the hippies. <laughs> so, right? To get the qualification, there is not meaning of a high level of knowledge, but the qualification is to be, uh, uh, was heißt demütig? To be humble. And then, by the basic of Prabhupada and Bhakti Siddhanta, of the knowledge, we can grow higher in, in Bhav. And so this is why th this was now crystal clear. And I understand for me inside very clear why they don't gave this bath in one step. That, no, that would not work because this British was very proud. They thought they have the better knowledge and the, the, the first disciples of uh, uh, Bhaktivedanta Swami was in a special mood, I would say. I don't, I did not criticize one of them, but they was in a different mood. What do you think about this meditation? Okay, now I want to share today a little bit more interesting. Was I? Ah. Okay. <clears throat> On this matter, I would like to share today. Dupa yeah. Goswami Utukarika Barari, verse 19. The title is title is the object of Sri Radha's grace. Mm -hmm. You know, interesting. So, how to be the object of Sri Radha's grace? <laughs> <laughs> so, this is I want to share today a little bit, and then. Then I try to explain Gorasundra Prabhu's questions. Is okay? <laughs> <laughs> sure. It's okay, Gurudev. Are you there? Gurudev is okay. Open yeah, the camera I'm there. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Very nice, interesting question for me also. This. So, <clears throat> if, somebody, if somebody could read Uttarika, is somebody has Uttarika Barari? Nobody? 
I have it. I think I have to look. Hmm? If somebody could be, then I can more, more meditate, I can speak more. Interesting. <clears throat> This title is very in interesting. Shri Radha Kripa Patra. Mm. Which verse? Uh, 19. Uttarika Parari 19. The title is Shri Radha Kripa Patra. Very mm -hmm. 18. 19. Yes. O oh, Prince of the Cowherders, Krishna, I offer my obeisances unto you, and I pitifully pray to you, please make me the object of mercy, of the crown garland, of young girls of Braja, Sri Radhika. Sri Radha Kripa Patra, the object of Sri Radha's grace. So this point, very in interesting. Rupa Goswami praying Sri Krishna. Mm. He's mm. not praying. Radha, he's praying at first Shri Krishna. This is very in interesting. So if we are interested to become, uh, say, the maid servant, then we may think, oh, I pray to Radha, right? But here, Rupa goes and praying to Sri Krishna. This is this is my questions. Why is that? And then, if we could, I don't know. I have an answer or not. But if we could understand, automatically clear the answer of Gorasunda. Acha. Wow. <laughs> this is my feeling. I don't know. I'm so crazy. I'm I'm a folk, you know crazy things, but uh, interesting, you know. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <clears throat> the strong desire for attaining this coveted or desired devotional service increases more and more in Virahi Sri Rupa Goswami's heart. And this desire grows as high as the Sumeru mountain. On the one hand, this heart is squeezed strongly by strong desires to attain the service of the Lord. And on the other hand, he laments because he understands how unqualified he is for attaining that service. This is in interesting. Rupa Goswami always feeling unqualified. Mm -hmm. Also, at that time, same time, he has so much strong desire to attain. The service of the Lord. <laughs> this is both things go, go like a parallel. Hand in hand. Mm. Yes. And to think if one is unqualified, this is humbleness, no? Yes. This we need at the Laga Bhakti. We mm. need both things we need. This is a very desirable stage in the kingdom of divine love.
the aspirant is also separated and deprived of the vision of the Lord. So he should also feel some want and some void because of this. Bhajan means searching, and that search will make external consciousness disappear from the aspirant. This is a very interesting point. Mm. Wow. <clears throat> so Anantas Baba is saying, <clears throat> Bhajan means searching. Mm. Sometimes Guru Dev is also saying, <laughs> We search. Research. Do research. research. Yes. So, and then this search will make external consciousness disappear because we are always meditate internal thing. Mm. We are always searching for Raga. Mm. Anuraga. <laughs> you know, Baba, Mahababa. Mm. And that search will make external consciousness disappear. So it means material desire, material consciousness disappear. Means we have a sty, one sense. Sty. Mm. Mm. We have a spiritual consciousness. And mm. we start at one point. If we search, 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 then finally we attain <coughs> one point. Mm. Slowly, the thirst for loving devotion will increase. And finally, the aspirant will become anxious of thirst. So this is thirst. Mm. It, it's, it's kind of hankering and thirst is the same. Mm -hmm. so if we are <coughs> become so much thirsty, we hankering for some water or some for drinking. But uh, we cannot drink, then more thirst is coming. <laughs> then more desire is coming. This is a kind of, you know, greed, That's... more greed. Yes. No more space for other things. No, no, no space for material consciousness. No. We material to... desire. That is the point. Because our mind capture when material influence comes. Mm. It's spiritually when I'm meditation, not catching me. But the moment I am free from that, my energy, outside energy, people are sitting nearby, they're all catching. Mm -hmm. The mind catch by material energy. So if yeah. you put my mind involved in searching of spiritual energy, then this will be both sides start working in and out. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So there is no chance to deviation. That's it, good Dave. And the picture of your grandmother and Ananda Maima is exactly this, what, what you now say. No? So they are totally in this. And uh, even if you only look at this picture, <coughs> so then your mind becomes peaceful. Today I am reading Vilat Kusumanji, 98. 
98. And beautiful one line about Krishna meditation of Raghunath Das. Listen. Whole paragraph. Not a whole paragraph. When reversing the syllables of the word rasa, which means the sweet erotic flavor of Radha and Krishna's play, you get the word sada, which means lake. Lake means the reservoir. Reservoir. Mm -hmm. Tank of reservoir. Mm -hmm. Where the f is 24 7 coming out. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. This secret makes the devotees very happy. Understanding Sara Lake to mean Rasa, spiritual flavor, the devotees bathe there, and the fortunate soul then attains a love for Krishna. You see, love for Krishna. Not love for Radha. First they attend the love for Krishna. Go on. Gopi. <clears throat> Gopi Bhav. Yeah, this is the point. Why love for Krishna? If in my bodily consciousness, if I will rub to Radha not working. Mm. So I have to know my soul to mm. see super soul. So, love to Krishna, free from your material covering and identification. Yeah. Go on. Understanding Tara, lake, to mean rasa, spiritual flavor, the devotees bathe there, and the fortunate soul then attains a love for Krishna equal to that of Radha's by Krishna's grace. By Krishna grace. Because you are free from by the identification, this is the grace of Krishna. You start living in the Gopi Bhav, in the soul consciousness. Then when I assign the Krishna <coughs> the slowly and steadily alternative goal coming in my life. Yes, yes. go on. When Krishna is eager to see Radha and all his endeavors fail. He takes shelter of Radha Kunda, on whose strength he then gets to meet her. Sri Radha similarly takes shelter of Shyama Kunda to attain Krishna's association. Mm. And through their mm. go on. Through their inconceivable potency, these two kundas delight separated Radha and Shyama by arranging for their meetings. Therefore, Sri Kunda is dearer to the Sri Yugala than anything or anyone. Virahi Sri Raghunatha Dasa you see now. Yeah, go on. Beautiful, good. And yeah, we can see. Let's one, one can, minute. One minute. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Read. Virahi Sri Raghunatha Dasa falls on the bank of the Kunda and cries out. O oh, beautiful Radha Kunda, how glorious you are. Mm -hmm. If you can delight 
the separated couple by arranging for their meeting, then please also allow this fallen wretch who has fallen on your banks, weeping to see Ishwari's lotus feet now. And if the Kunda says, Sripada, be patient, you will see them in due course of time. Why do you want to see them right now? Then Raghunatha answers, Mama Chivitam Tam. O beautiful Kunda, Ishwari, Sri Radhika, is my very life. Without her, I cannot stay alive for even a moment anymore. Sri Hari Parasila sings, O Sri Radha Kunda, O best of holy lakes, on your banks, my mistress Radharani is intoxicated day and night for her love sports with her gallant. A beautiful, fortunate girl can nightly bathe in the ocean of Prasa, Sri Radhakunda, the beloved lake of the divine couple. O lake, be kind and show me the queen of my life and the queen of the Kunda. So, Punyaji, which bus is this one? 98. Oh, 98. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, it was not too fast. Sorry. No, no, no. Very good. Some this line. Is good day. Yeah. This is same subject. Which Same subject. Yes, I would so, like to talk today. Yeah. Our <laughs> Vada Krishna Masi, he prepared us for other service. This is the grace of uh, is gone and other places that they are not giving chance to without preparation to share that. You yeah. know, these are see you have to see. It's not that uh, they are doing something <clears throat> and they are kind to us. Kind. That they first prepare, then give us. This is Radha Dasya. Radha mm. Dasi or positive. Their greatness, their kindness. Mm. When I will assign Krishna, then slowly and steadily the way will clear. Rasi. <laughs> One more thing in, in Chaitanya Gurudev. Yeah. There it is. In fact, it seems that it's Krishna, but it is actually it is Ras Radhika who gives the mercy first. Chaitanya is really you are in Vrindavan. <laughs> you are Chaitanya pastime and Chaitanya Lila is not in Navadiv. They say Puri in Navadiv, but it's happening in Vrindavan. <laughs> it's happening. In Vrindavan and is a Radha Krishna Leela is happening. Mm -hmm. 
but you see the grace of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his devotee that he opened to everyone. Mm. If you so, are in this feeling, you can see it the past time. So, Gurudev, externally Mahaprabhu praying in Navadvip and the Puri. Mm -hmm. But internally, he's completely observing in Vrindavan Lira. <laughs> to, to relish the Viraha. Yes. He's in Puri, or he is in, in the, in the Navadip for creating Viraha from Vrindavan. We are living in uh, Germany or Japan for work. He is creating Viraha Vrindavan. So mm -hmm. he wants to keep his body there. Mm -hmm. This is the different increasing Viraha. Mm -hmm. This is the speciality. Not satisfied in Navadip, he went to all Puri now, Jagannath Puri, where only Vishnu Jagannath is there, he is a Subhadra, he is a Dwarka, mm. to create more Viraha. Mm. Eh? More far, far from Vrindavan, you know. Mm. Navadip and Mayapur is near. Navadip Mayapur is near, but mm. Jagannath Puri is totally Narayan Bhakti. Mm. Yes. <laughs> this comes to me one day. Why he do like this? To more increasing your madness. To, so he has to go to Gambira. Mm. Up to now, if he is traveling, but he forget to travel after that. He want or circumstances bring him that that has surrealish, right? But it is to increase with hound. Sri Ram. Wow. If you want to go Puri to increase with then is useful. <laughs> If I go to sense enjoyment, is no meaning. But we have a tendency to, to like a tourist, right, Guru Dev? We uh, have some, that, we have a tendency to become tourist. Then uh, ocean bath and this, uh, it's totally <laughs> no meaning to out of the down. Mm. Jai, Jai Guru Dev. Tirtyatra Parishram, Keval Maner Brahm. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that is very inspiring our subject. I love this to listen. <laughs> so much people, this Mahajan, where to see them? Prabhupada, you see, Bhakti Siddhanta, all they are merciful. 
see the kindness of them. Greatness of them. What Ga Gaura Sundar find out really is a great. He said me one day, I was so, I said, very thankful. Who see positive, they are a sty bhav. They are fixed in their nature. So I'm proud of my Gaura Sundara. He is living in a sty bhav. Rare to do this. Surprise. Everything is the creation positive. Nobody is doing, we are all puppet, nothing is happening that I am doing. All is a mercy is happening. Why so many sakis and gopis, different flavor for different relishment? To please Krishna. So Radharani expanded success. No. All is required. That is become bouquet. Mm -hmm. Different varieties of flower, when it comes in the bouquet, it become bouquet. Okay. Very good today. Should I continue reading? Sure. Yeah. Slowly, the thirst for loving devotion will increase, and finally, the aspirant will become anxious of thirst. When that thirst takes over the heart, the material world will stay out of the mind, and all activities will be connected with that thirst. In this verse, Sri Rupa Goswami prays to Sri Shyama Sundara's lotus feet, please make me the object of Sri Radha's mercy. I don't want anything else. I will relish the mellows of your service through the lotus feet of Sri Radha, not independently. This is Radha Adik Sneha. Yes. This is the beauty. <laughs> this is the beauty. That this book, without reading Radha Adik Sneha, Manjri Bhav cannot increase. Everyone is not writing this, and there is, they are missing this point. Hmm. Our confusion is this, that if we grow, we block in Gopi Bhav. Hmm. No books show me other than Anandas Babaji who bring hmm. you up. And go people. Wow. So now is your decision. You want to be up to go people, or what you want? <laughs> Same book, Radha Sudhanidi, one book is there. You come Vrindavan. 
वन इज इन द गोपी भाव एंड वन इज इन मंजरी भाव एंड रीड बोथ बुक फाइव पेजेस एंड देन यू विल डिसाइड व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन गोपी भाव एंड मंजरी भाव And Gurudev, in in very interesting Gurudev, two kind of books, two kind of Radha Rasa Sadaniji. Mm. One book, first last box, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu there. Mm. Another book, no Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Mm. Means if we put Mahaprabhu, we can be Radha Adik Sneha, Manjari Baba. Without mm-hmm. Mahaprabhu, no, no other, <laughs> no way to become Manjari Baba. And I, if I'm a Mahaprabhu follower, and I don't understand this, and we are writing without this, then where I'm bringing to my disciples? Not this to is, follow, yes, not this to is Mahaprabhu. Yes, this is this is uh, this is. Uh, Kind of, this is we need the mercy, Guru Dev, Rashka Bhajnava. Otherwise, uh, then we are apradis. How <clears throat> mm. to say? Mm, true. Even Prabhupada, Bhagavad Gita is mentioning everything hiddenly uh, in the form of energy. Krishna himself not understand. Without his energy, <coughs> ten, ten, fifteen. You see, if I don't understand, that is my difficulty, na. But he know he's honest with his writing. If I write and Mike. My vision is not clear. What I will write? True. True. Delhi is not writing his voice. True. <clears throat> the point. we have to careful writing book. Then we have to careful these points. True. Really true. Huh? So yes, Guru Dev. <clears throat> Now so. Now I understood, you know, Guru Dev, slowly, slowly. <laughs> Gita, <coughs> actually, Gita. We are thinking if we read Bhagavad Gita, our goal is Krishna. From beginning, we think, oh, Gita's goal is actually Krishna. <coughs> But actually. Guru Dev mentioned, if we read, really understand Gita, then we can understand the real goal of Gita is is Mamekan, <laughs> Sri Radha. Yes, this is the greatness of the writer. Yes, and also. So, so I maybe I say, Gorasunda's answer to become Radha Dashi, we need at first approach Krishna and get the mercy. Mm. Like for example, <clears throat> if I want to approach Suniti. Like if I'm working some some company, I'm working under the Gorasundra's company, and Gorasundra may be president. I'm like a worker. So Gorasundra, please, please, I want to know your 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 concert, concert, your wife. I need. I want to see your beautiful wife. <laughs> But Gorasundra said. No, no, no. This is this is this is not easy. I have to. I I have to ask my wife if she's okay. Then you can meet. Ah. Uh-huh. 
So I need permission at first Gora Sundara. And if Gora Sundara asks, okay, then I can meet Suniti, right? Mm. So similarly, <clears throat> at first Krishna is very careful. Oh, you know, oh, you want, at first he did not say anything about his, con you know, Krishna's concert about Radha. But someone who asked, hey, Krishna, I want to see your concert. I heard very beautiful, very merciful. Is it okay to meet your concert? If Krishna said, okay, then we can go to Radha. If Krishna said, no, 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 wait, wait, you are not ready to meet my concert. Then we cannot meet <coughs> with the Radha. Yes, we have to become ladies. Yes, lady. So, <coughs> so Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur is very masterful. Mm. Because at that time, <coughs> you know, uh, Vivekananda went to United States. <laughs> he broadcast impersonal philosophy. Oh. You know, he joined the worldwide religious con uh, conference. Mm. He said about yoga and he, his discourse was about all impersonalism. Mm. So even England also, Japan also. So Bhakti Shinanta was thinking, oh, I want to spread this Mahaprabhu's teaching. <clears throat> but at first, I have to glorify Krishna. I have to establish Krishna's to Bhagavan Swayam. Wow. So at first, he, he must preach one sense by the bhakti. Or mm. maybe mixing Raganuga bhakti. So to, estab to establish Krishna's to Bhagavan Swayam, we need at first by the bhakti, especially for, for outside India. Mm. So Prabhupada went to United States at that time impossible to 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 share Raganuga Bhakti. Mm. It's very difficult. Even Prabhupada difficult. Prabhupada feel, oh my God, this is a very tough place. Mm. They are eating meat mm. unconditionally. They are <coughs> they love. Man and lady, they live like um, cats and dog. They took intoxication like anything. Mm. They are like gambling. Oh my God. Mm. We, 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 <laughs> I have to teach rule and regulation at first. Mm. And then they, they are lady, they can go. So Prabhupada said, I cut jungle. Mm. Maya body, you know, and the uh, impersonal boism, many philosophy, Pahupada must and uh, has to cut all the old weeds and uh, trees and. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> so my mm. guest is Bhakti Shanta is so merciful. He did different approach. He knows the goal, but uh, he, I think he, I think Mahaprabhu's mercy, he must, he has to do different way to, to spread this message of Gauranga Goran Mahaprabhu. Prabhupada also. Yes, I remember also this one book of, of the, of the classes of uh, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati, that one class he was crying and he said, Really, I wanted to give this message of Shimati Radhika's mercy, but there were many jungles to cut. I could not speak about her so much as I really feel about her. I remember that in that book, uh, Bhaktranjali, na, that we were reading, Gurudev, where he is saying, uh, fire yeah. on those who don't love Radha, damn those who don't worship Radha. And he was crying at the end of his life that he would have wished to give more of Radha, Radha's glories, but he had to cut the jungles, like you say beautifully. 
Yes. So therefore, even Prabhupada, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swam Prabhupada, when before he left his body, he called Naren Maharaj. And so please come, please call Naren Maharaj. Some of servants call Naren Maharaj. Oh, oh, Swamiji. Oh, so what can I do for you? Naren Maharaj asked Prabhupada. Oh, Naren Maharaj, I have one request for you. Only you can do this. I have many followers and disciples. I did my best to teach them. But my time is limited. Please, please take care of my followers. What, so what does it mean? My understanding like this. I cut all jungles. Maya body and poison. I try to preach by the bhakti. I want to preach Raganuga bhakti, but I have no time to teach them. So Nara Maharaj, you can do this. Please help my disciple. Whoever want to enter Raganuga bhakti or who want to, so, you know, solve some questions, please. Please help them. Then Naram is okay. okay. As you wish, I try to do my, my best. Also, na, also, Pahupad asked Naramaj, so when I left my body, please do my ceremony for my samadhi. This is usually only disciple can do. Best disciple can do, usually. But the Prabhupada ask, Prabhupada does not ask his disciple, but he ask Narayan Maharaj. So because <laughs> Narayan Maharaj knows this Raganuga Bhakti, Rupa Nuga Bhakti. So he trust Narayan Maharaj. He want to show, Prabhupada actually want to show us Raganuga Bhakti, Rupa Nuga Bhakti, but he has, he does not have, he did not have enough time to do this. Also circumstance like this. This is my understanding. But Prabhupada do it in his books. Yes. Yes, Amrita. Yes, Gurudev. So therefore, Gurudev, I joined ISKCON maybe within three years. I read most of Prabhupada books. I have almost all book I have read. Then my conclusion was Raganuga Bhakti and Rupanuga Bhakti is best. I understand because of Prabhupada book, Guru Dev. Yeah. So therefore, I don't believe Prabhupada only teach by the Bhakti. No, I, I, I don't believe like this. Prabhupada teaches Raganuga Bhakti also. But our disciples, we are so foolish, we cannot take it. We don't know how to take it. That is our problem, Guru Dev. Arjuna, what's up for you? Yeah, that is so the, therefore, my understanding uh, like this. Goranga I, Mahaprabhu. Oh, sorry. I, I, now, I, <coughs> it's so beautiful. One day, Gauravani called me. He said, Adidila four canto is complete. Wow. Now, I have to go to fifth canto. I said, no, do that. <laughs> because it's only an appellant software. Then he said to me, I want to show 
opulent sight with, with, with sweetness is a wonderful thing, he said to me. Wow. Wow. He, he, he is a Nityananda Tattva. Wow. It's so much touch to me. Wow. It's the it's opulence of Nityananda is there. <laughs> Oh, his beauty of love is opulence. Wow. I he, he melt my heart. After that, I'm thinking from that day, how mercy he got it. This is the beauty of Gauramani. <laughs> this is the Chaitanya Chaitavrit is so deep going. Mm. I cannot say I'm, you. I'm so unfortunate, you know, I could not uh, hear this Chaitanya Chaneta from Gorabani because no, of some engagement. You know. No, it's all recording. You listen to that. It's a really, it, when he said to me, because when I read, listen to that, two pages, three pages, I don't want to listen to that. Then he said, no. I will, I will go through with that also. I said, wow. This, I said, is one not opulence? He said, no, sweetness. Nityananda Lila is there. Wow. 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 Very nice. Huh? Our sweetness is hidden there. In opulence, that has to see, right? That is the real research of our life. They are researchers. You them, I remember the past time. Once, Gadadar Pandit, <laughs> see Pundarika Bidanidi. He was very opulent. He looks like a very materialistic person. And Gadadar Pandit was thinking, oh my God, this is so much, so, so much, so rich. He's so opulent. He's, he must be very materialistic person. Gadara Pandit was thinking like this. And then I think Sribas Pandit was somebody, I forgot, and speaking 10th count of Gopi Gita. <laughs> and then he, <laughs> he completed ecstasy. He like uh, fell down on from the seat and rolling down and he showed us so much ecstasy for, for Radha Mohan. Yeah. And then Gadadar Pandit was thinking, oh my God, he had so great person. I was thinking he's a very materialistic person. So I made commit offense to him. So how to, how to, how to, I say, how to, how, to, what to do my offense. And he, yeah. he come to understand, oh, I should, be his disciple. So like a Gorabani Pabs looks like very opulent, Nitai and opulent. But uh, right. some right. Hansa, Hansa could yeah. do, could do take milk in the water. Wow. So Gorabani, Gorabani could, Gorabani Pab could take sweetness from, from all opulence. Yes, I'm waiting every day to counting the dates when his date will come. Yes, so I'm also waiting for <laughs> Gorabani's association. Yeah. Yeah.
This is Radha's Nayadika love of the Mandaris. Wow. My queen is the queen of Vrindavan, Sri Radha, and I worship Iridari because he is the lord of her life. That's a bit. Then we there is worshipping of information gathering. Now why I will gather the information when he is not a I have no want to see opponents and creation creator. I want to see only my queen Radhika, my boss Radhika's lover. Simple. I want to act I accept him like a lover of my Swami. Mm -hmm. Why to research him? Why to doubt this? Until mm -hmm. the doubts are there, how you can go for that? Why you want to research that he is a God or not? He is a Supreme Personality or not? Then you don't believe this is more higher for your mind, not the uh, your Swami's boss or lover. Boss is more higher. Lover is not important for you. So Ragbhak is not there. When Rag Bhakti will come, then we accept it. Wow. This is the most easiest way to accept it. So assign, I assign it. Yes. <laughs> Other way is the wrong way. This way is the easiest, and assigning is more easy to you. I don't need any proof for that. Right? Yes. If mother is there, mother is there, then we don't need to prove. Just yeah. suck the breast from breast milk. Yeah. We will not worship Iridari without Shimati Radhidan. Oh. Yeah. Then I will not master that separately to become Gopi Bhav. I want to relish your sweetness by experiencing Radharam. And I want to relish your sweetness through Sri Radharam. That but is Ma. Unnat Ujjal. Mm. Unnat Ujjal Rasa is this. Unnat Ujjal. I... Never happened. Other book, if you take it, you will not find it out <laughs> before that. <laughs> before Rupa Goswami. And more crystal come when we go to the Bilap Kusamajari and we read the Anandas Babaji book. This is the beauty of Anandas Babaji book that he combined it in one flow. And this book I see Radhara Sudhanidhi and Vilapu Samadhi. Then you read, is not mentioned, you will catch your position where you are. Without that, if you read, you are nowhere. Right? Sunitir Jananda Maharaj. Yes. Very good. 
Good if you always hit the nail. You hit the nail on the head. <laughs> <laughs> your your husband got also that nail. He when he comes to near to me, he nailed me more strongly. <laughs> he is going crazy. And he is he is mad with you. And when now he is very much in separation. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> So he will come soon, also Gurudev in September. Yeah. Wow. This German nature, you know, German nature. When they go, they want to research and talk most. Where is Gorasunda? One one German. Philosopher, what his name? He sent me. Oh, Albert Einstein. Yes. You see, there's a the mind, German mind nature. When serious research, then if they will find the deepest thing, they will not do, not do, but they will do. Then they can go in. <laughs> and also, you have a one Japan, Gaur Chandra. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> their German mind is like this. <laughs> God, one you see, my Einstein says, God a Sundara. Fix. Yeah. But this yeah. will not be done in a summer snare bath, the mood of the Oh, no, not done with some snare bath. No. You cannot, you cannot think for that. I will keep Radha Sneha Dik pretty in my heart. Yeah. In Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, Sri Rupa Goswami has written, when the Sakis love Radha as much as or less than Krishna, then this is counted as a Sanchari bhav mm. in the Sanchari called Krishna Rati. But if they always love Radhika more, then it is called Bhava Ulasa Rati. Jai Nitai Jai Rati. Jai Ho. And this Bhava Ulasa Rati is the Stai Bhav of the Manjaris. Jai yeah. yeah. Ho. Oh. Yeah. This has to be. Bhau Lasrati, no other desire. Right, Gaurav Chandra? <laughs> He's here? Yes, yeah. You are so shy, Gaurav Chandra. You are right, Gurudev, like always. <laughs> <laughs> so, Uchwala Rasa was there. Sakis, they have that, but Unata, they don't have. How to experience the highest rasa? Only Sri Mati Radharani can experience. She has the highest love. She experiences Krishna and his beauty to the topmost. So Manjari becomes so near with Radharani, they can feel the same thing like Radharani. Yeah. And that is higher than gopis, higher. So why to go for lower thing, Saki, direct relation with Krishna? You will never experience him like Radharani, experience him. But Manjari can do. So that is the Unata. Wow. Like, wow. You are right, Gurudev, like all. 
<laughs> I don't know that. Gyananda Maharaj one day explaining that. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. I want to say one more thing, Gurudev. Yeah. You always say when you fix that, everything becomes crystal clear. You can see the whole picture. Like Govaravani now researching Chaitanya Charitamrita. Udava researching Bhagavad Gita. Everything. If you have the Suniti. Suniti researching. Brain Brain Bhagavad. Bhagavad. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So they have all clear vision because they practice the Manjariva. And they can see like an eagle from up, they can see everything. And now we also understand that actually Prabhupada, he wrote everything, but before we could not see. Wow. This is Krishna and Dvaraka, even in Dvaraka, he all the time think of Radharani. Yeah. He think of Radharani when he is on the battlefield talking to Arjun. Wow. Krishna is Krishna always thinking of Vrindavan and Srimati Radhika. Yeah. And he speak Bhagavad Gita also, but nobody can understand. But he say, Mam Ekam. Wow. Yeah. If we understand Krishna, if we understand Radharani, we can see it everywhere. Yeah. Wow. You are right, Gurudev. Everything yeah, become crystal clear. <laughs> this is the mercy of Krishna Chandra. Yeah. What? I was in Europe, he called me and said, you read Chaitan, Adidila Chaitan, Chaitamrita. I said, no, we said, read that. And after that, I was so happy and ext in ecstasy, I cannot say. So thanks to my Krishna Chandra Maria, he gave me this way. Yeah. Yeah. Radhe Radhe. Yeah. I don't want it to speak now, but after hearing Gora Chandra, I have to say a little bit about him. When I hear him in these uh, Zoom meetings in Japan, actually, oh, I yeah. feel that Gurudev's mercy is flowing through him so much. It's completely amazing and astonishing. And uh, he is right, crystal clear is coming from Gurudev, actually. And he his mercy is clearly established he established it in so many persons now like Jayananda and uh, Sunitya and Gora and Gora Sundara and uh, so on and so on Udava in Bhagavad Gita and so on so actually the mercy of Gurudev is spreading like like the madness of Radharani in the same way so Thank you very much for this spreading and thank you very much for inspiring us to go deeper and take our German minds, for example, or Japanese minds and invest it in the right way, actually. Thank you. And Gora Chandra, thank you again for your mercy to share all this and Jayananda also and Suniti and all the devotees, I cannot mention all, and I cannot praise them enough, actually. Thank you very much. Rade, rade.
O mind, remember Sri Krishna, the moon of the Braja forest, as the lord of the queen of Vrindavan, Radha. Remember Sri Radha as Sri Krishna's most beloved girl, Lalita as their matchless girlfriend, Vishaka as the teacher of all other girlfriends, and Sri Radha Kunda and Giriraj Govardhan as two places, the mere sight of which bestows charming love of Sri Radha and Mohan. This is the prayer of Srila Raghunath Das Goswami in Mana Shiksha. So this Bhavulasa Rati is the Staibab of the Manjaris who are endowed with Radha Snehadik. This is the great gift of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and this is the very heart of Gaudiya Vaishnavism. So Baba was uh, quoting uh, Raghunath Das Goswami's Mana Shiksha, now is quoting uh, from Prima Bhakti Chandrika, which we had also as a subject uh, the time before last time of uh, Naratam Das Thakur's. Don't count equal affection for both Radha and Krishna or unequal affection, more for Krishna than for Radha. Just speak of Radha Adik Sneha, more love for Radha than for Krishna. Always stay with the Priya Narma Sakis and always talk with them about Krishna's pastimes. That is Mahajan say Sajati that is Sajati, to talk with Priya Naram Sakti. With Adik Sneha to Radharam. That is Sajati Asana. And by fortune, you create Radha Darshan. And this is so, Rodi is developing in this mood. It's a very good luck for the us and for the who had a desire to grow more. They can share, they can meet, they can feel it and grow it. Mahaprabhu says that who think to to be a to chant name, we have to give dandava to them. They are to respect. So who think to be come in ragavakti, we have to respect them also. Name is the ragavakti. We have to respect them. We have to give love to them, they decide to do that. And who is doing, always we have to respect for And who is adibated, we have to always keep respect to them. Right? Blissfully render loving service, loving devotional service with Sri Rupa Manjari, Sri Rati Manjari, Lavanga Manjari, Manjulali Manjari, Sri Rasa Manjari, Kausturika, and others. I will follow into their footsteps and render loving devotional service. 
simply on their hints, I will understand what is my duty. This morning, Guru, if I was meditating, um, we always like to speak about others. How is this devotee doing? How are they doing? How is that? And how is that? And I think, oh, how would be, you know, what would be the position of a mandri speaking about, like, what is going on now? Oh, how can I prepare uh, that Shimati Radhika will be ready for her Abhisa? Or how can I uh, take this obstacle from her when I, I massage Jatila's uh, feet in the evening? This is the Prajalpa of the Brajvasis. What needs to be done? Who is taking care of this? Who knows the next meeting place? And I thought it will be so nice to one day be able to always be in this kind of bath, that to see this, to feel this, to be really connected and to not think so much outside anymore. <laughs> or even when we think outside, then always feel the inside. I think this will help through the Vaishnavas. They are helpful in our life. They give chance to grow us because they listen and this inspired us to grow. Right, Jananda Maharaj? If they are not ready to listen, how they will help me to grow? So these are the must happening. I always will be passionately absorbed in Radha and Mohan's forms and qualities while I reside amongst the Sakis. Hmm. This was the Prema Bhakti Chandrika phrase of uh, Srila Naratam Nisakko. Hmm. You want me to continue, Rainanda Maharaj, or you want to go on with another uh, explanation? <laughs> I don't know. Now, I think Gorabani's <laughs> answer is, <laughs> I think, uh, finished. And. Oh, you mean Gorasundaras? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. Gorasundara, Gorasundara. Gorasundara. Gorasundara is not here, <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> Tonight. Yeah, that's a very nice verse of Utkali Kavalari. In the purport is all our, all the secrets, Radha Adik Sneha Unnata Ujvala Rasa and Baba Ula Sarati. Can you read? Osha, I will worship your Priya and your worship will follow art automatically. Osha, I will worship your Priya and your worship will follow automatically because you are dearer to each other than millions of lives. When will I serve Shirada? who is dearer to Krishna than his own life, who considers a particle of Krishna's foot dust millions of times more dear to her than her own life, who is supremely fortunate, whose fame shines in the three worlds and who is the crown jewel of all of Hari's beloveds. The treasure that is attained by single-mindedly worshipping Shirada is very precious. As she 
Prabhupada Nanda Saraswati explains in his Radha Rasuda Nidhi. Let Krishna's parents and all elders of Raja stay at a distance. All glories to them. Let the circle of Krishna's friends keep some distance. Let the servants of the Lord of Daj stay especially far away. What to speak of others? Let them all stay away from the Kunja gate where I stand as a loving maidservant, hearing the jingling of the sesh of bells of Rishabhanu, Rishabhanu Maharaja's beautiful daughter as she makes love with her last day lover. When I hear these waist bells jingling, I know that your pastimes are finished and my time for service has come. I will enter, blissfully enter the kunja and I will wipe their faces and feed them beetle leaves. I will fan the perspiration from their bodies and anoint them with sandal, wood pulp, and other ointments. I will string garlands for them with Vrindavan's flowers and place them in his crown and in her braid. I will draw tilak on their foreheads and will serve them sandal pulp and camphor. Naratam Das says, that is the news of love. The highest of love. O Shyam, your prayer ji is Braja Navayovata Moli Malika, the crowning garland of the greatest of all the young Braja Sundaris. When you leave all these Gopa Sundaris and become eager to meet with Radhika alone, then you will need my service. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although the Govinda bee very much loves the honey of love that oozes from the beautiful lotus faces of the gopis. He suddenly leaves them and wanders here and there over the pathways, searching for the best of wish-yielding wine of Vrindavan. Being attracted to the super excellent fragrance of a blissful body, when will I worship that Radha? Yeah. Yeah. I bow down to the feet of Shri Hari, the son of Raja's cowherd king. Radhika. The crown of all Brajas, of Brajas young girls, is your beloved, who worships you in your place. Please instruct me into how to attain the special mercy of Konjeshwari Radhika. Sri Radha. Sri Rupa Goswami the crown jewel of all devotees, thus reveals the Chantamani jewel of his confidential worship. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you.
थैंक यू वेरी मच I want to say something. I think that Krishna very easily will give mercy if you ask in this way. <laughs> Manjari is saying to Krishna, "Hey Krishna, I don't want direct relation with you. <laughs> I want to serve your beloved." Then Krishna thinking, really? Everyone want direct with me, but you want to serve my lover, my beloved. Of course, I will help you. <laughs> so then, but Radharani's goal is only to make Krishna happy. So service to Radharani also means serving Krishna. Make him happy. So, this is the beauty that everyone is happy to the utmost. Radharani, Krishna, the Manjari, everyone in this Manjari bath. It's so it's so complete, like nothing else. This is complete. Other mm -hmm. things are not complete. Circle is not closed completely, but in Manjari Bhav, everything is at his point. <laughs> wow! So yes. Right. Also, someone who is very sincere and eager to become Radha Dashi Krishna also. Must give the mercy. And also, Krishna also need that Manjari's mercy, you know. You know, I give you mercy. Next time, please, please bring my Swamini. You understand? Yeah. <laughs> my, yeah, yeah. my desire. <laughs> they make a deal. This time you help me, and next time I will help you. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Krishna also thinking like this. Oh my God, this is this man. This manjari is very eager to become Radha Dashi. Okay, okay, I give you. Next time you remember, I give you mercy. Next time you give me mercy. <laughs> ah, so beautiful. <laughs> And we have to see that this Manjari bath given by Mahaprabhu, especially for the jivas, for the conditioned souls, no. There are so many gopis, they are nitya siddhas. But how to bring the jivas from the material thing? It's not time for reaching the goal by becoming sakhi. It's only by becoming manjari. This is gift of Mahaprabhu. This is special mercy, you know, this special. Yeah, that it's, it's given to the jivas, to the conditioned souls. No. <laughs> This is also very beautiful. Mm -hmm. I mean. Actually, this is the logic of love. In the time when you have the most fallen souls in Kali Yuga, nothing else can help than the highest state of love.
<laughs> That's why Advaita Chaya was calling for him. He is Mahavishnu. He is God. He is creator of all the universes. But in this Kali Yuga, his power is not sufficient. Could not do something to help the jivas in this fallen age. So he had to call for very merciful incarnation to help the jivas. <laughs> he may teach by the bhakti. He may teach by the bhakti, ah. but not the raganuga rupanuga bhakti. <laughs> But we should not forget how eager also Advaita Acharya was to have a very loving and close relationship. So much so that he was risking his head. He was speaking nonsense in front of Mahaprabhu just so that he would hit him and run behind him because he was so much bored with all these official Dandavats, and <laughs> because Mahaprabhu was always so loving with the Satya Bama, no, I mean with the Jagadananda. <laughs> and Advaita was also observing it, and he became very jealous. He wanted to have a close friendship kind of like relationship. But because he was elder and he was more senior, Mahaprabhu kept the etiquette. <laughs> so you see, also Advaita Jaya, he wanted to be very close and intimate as we mm. all want we all aspire for intimacy and closeness and mm. this condensed feeling and even Atveta Chaya was feeling please kick me <laughs> <laughs> do anything with me but touch me and don't be always in this etiquette with me so that's amazing <laughs> 